I am at here on the field of Gettysburg to talk about Jeremiah Gage and the 11th Mississippi. Now this is the monument to the 11th Mississippi, which contained the University Greys. The University Greys were a group of students, the company, from Mississippi State, and at the outset of the war, almost 100% of the class joined the Confederate cause, and Mississippi State shut down. Uh, the University Greys took 100% casualties, killed, captured, wounded, during Pickett's Charge on July 3rd, 1863. But that is another story. Today, I just want to talk about Jeremiah Gage. Jeremiah Gage was 16 years old when he joined the Confederate Greys. And on July 3rd, 1863, he found himself on the field of Gettysburg near this statue. Uh, and during the bombardment that morning, the cannonade between the Union lines and the Confederate lines, and we'll flash on over across the field. There's the North Carolina monument coming up, and you can see across, directly across the field, you can see a bunch of trees way over there. That's the copse of trees, so that is the high water mark of the Confederacy. And there's the North Carolina Memorial. And during that morning bombardment, the 11th Mississippi would have been hunkered down right here, uh, including Jeremiah Gage. And so this is probably where Jeremiah Gage would have hunkered down when the bombardment started. It is just on the other side of a little ridge. He would have been protected. And everybody on the 11th Mississippi would have been just eating dirt, right? Digging in as best they can with their bayonets and their spoons and their cups just to get out of the way of that horrible cannonade. Uh, Jeremiah Gage, or Jer Gage, was, I guess, curious uh, because he made the mistake of poking his head up uh, to see what was going on, although he probably couldn't see much through the smoke and the flames. Uh, and Jeremiah Gage took a shot that turned out to be fatal. Upon his wounding, Jeremiah would have been taken to that farmhouse in the distance there, which was used as a Confederate field hospital. I'm not going to get any closer because there's thorns, uh, and Finn is very uh, tender, as am I. Now, Dr. Holt, who set up the barn, wrote, Early on the morning of July 3rd, I selected the nearest possible cover for wounded behind a raised roadway about two and a half feet high, constructed to allow wagons to be driven upon the floor of the barn, and unload. And that's where Jeremiah Gage spent his last moments on earth. I'm sure he was in a lot of pain. I believe he took a cannonball wound, but he was given the opportunity to write a letter home uh, before he passed. And so I wanted to take this opportunity and just read you the letter. Dear Mother, this is the last you may ever hear from me. I have time to tell you that I died like a man. Bear my loss as best you can. Remember that I am true to my country, and my greatest regret at dying is that she is not free, and that you and my sisters are robbed of my worth, whatever that may be. I hope this will reach you, and must not regret that my body cannot be obtained. It's a mere matter of form, anyhow. This is for my sisters, too, as I cannot write more. Send my dying release to Miss Mary, you know who, J.S. Gage. This letter is stained with my blood. And with that, Jeremiah Gage passed away in a barn in a field about 800 miles away from home on these fields in Gettysburg. Let me just take a minute and show you the ground that the University Grays in the 11th, Pencil 11th Pennsylvania, 11th Mississippi, uh, would have crossed on July 3rd. Like I said, they took 100% casualties. Uh, they did make it to that barn. They took sh shelter behind that barn as they went to the wall. But certainly, uh, none of them made it back unscathed. But the 11 Mississippi is a story for another day. Gettysburg is a story of 170,000 Jeremiah Gages. They all fought for various reasons. 
I think they all fought for home, for family, for state, for those behind, and for the men next to them. And so it's good that we can share stories like this and just maybe remember the people. This is Joe. Thanks for watching.